The issue of contracts and payments to Jamaica's reggae girls have long been a bone of contention or has long been a bone of contention between the players, coaches and the Jamaica Football Federation, the JFF. On the 4th of May, local media reported that contract negotiations between the parties had stalled after lawyers for the players declined to respond to an offer submitted by the JFF. But as the team makes its way to France via South Florida and Scotland, it's understood the on pass is at an end. It has been reported that the girls and their coaches have signed a contract covering the period January 2019 to August 2019. And joining us to discuss the matter is the General Secretary of the Jamaica Football Federation, Dalton Wint. Dalton, good afternoon. Welcome. Good afternoon to your listeners, too. Yeah, man. And my viewers. <laughs> and your viewers. Yeah, most definitely. There, 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 there you go. Uh, first of all, the, well, let's start at the obvious place. Uh, the girls are in a good place mentally, you think, following that send-off for them on Sunday? Yes, they are. They should be. Because, um, you know, having started out their contract and, and um, having, not having that on their mind, ought to be a good thing. What does the, well, what, what, what are the things covered in the contract? I, I, I noted that January 2019 to August 2019 is the tenure. Uh, what, which competitions are covered under that agreement? You have two. You have the Pan Am Games and uh, the, um, Olymp the Olympics, the World Cup. Yeah. And in terms of the, 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 the value, is it that we were wondering in our production meeting earlier if the contracts are awarded by grade or by strata or by bracket, is it a one-size-fits-all for the players? And is it, is, it, is it the same for the coaching staff who have been contracted? No, no. Um, the fact is that some people have contributed more than some and um, value a little bit more than some, you know? So we use a category and, and determine how we would um, remunerate the staff and players. So you have a formula by which you have made the offer as well. You have agreed on the contracts by a, by a formula and not everybody yes. gets the same thing. Most definitely. What is, the, what is the contract floor, the value, and what is the ceiling, if you may? I don't want to do that because it's actually... A, a, have a thing where um, individual, if they want to discuss their thing, then they are at liberty to do so. But from where we sit, I don't think it, 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 it's ethical for me to be discussing their salary, you know, because you know, come with different issues. Well, well it, it, it's only a matter of ethics, though, Dalton, if this were a, a, a private entity. They are national representatives. So, they are, all right, if you're not answering that question, no problem. What, yeah. how, much, how much is it costing the JFF to cover these contracts? Uh, over $300,000 the plus contracts and bonuses. So what? Fly fast. $300,000 US dollars? US dollars. For, for, for the players alone or for the players and coaches? Players and coaches, yes. And then we have a part of it that bonus will be offered to these ladies for participating in the, in the World Cup. So they get two things. They get an incentive for qualifying and a bonus for, for participating and, and then their you know, remuneration. I know before there was an issue with the younger girls who are still in school and they said that you know giving them a contract would have messed with their scholarship chances. Has that been sorted out? No, no, no. But we, we don't want to uh, have any hindrance to our ladies receiving their education. And so, you know, it's not allowed and um, we, we did not even try to go down that route. Yeah. The, the, the issue of the, 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 the source of funds, you say approximately $300,000 covers everything. Of, um, did the JFF pull that out of its own consolidated fund? Was it sponsorship support? Where did you pull that from, Dalton? We know cash is... We got some, You're not awash with cash support. at this time. Most definitely we're not. But we got some support from sponsorship. We, we um, also got some support from FIFA. And, um, you know, the JFF contributed a, a huge amount to that undertaking. 
So, so what is it that determined the tenure? January to August, uh, you're saying you're capturing two tournaments in that period. Why not a longer term deal? Or is it what you could afford at this time? Give me an idea of why January to August 2019. We have a special project, and the World Cup has to be a special project. And so we just tap uh, the um, Panam onto that, you know? But the special project is really the World Cup. Yeah, because this has never been done before. So, you know, um, we decided that this, has, this is special, something special. The girls have gifted us something very special, and so we have to do something very special for them. In terms of where you, how you compare to other teams going to the World Cup, is it that Jamaica's payment scheme is unique? Is it that you fall in line with what other national teams, World Cup qualifiers, are paying, uh, if not the specific rate, but the roundabout figures? Are you in lockstep with your rivals in terms of the tenure and terms of the contracts you've offered to your players? We are a unique set of people, and we have to operate that way. You know, we we we, we look at, at what exists and um, to see how much we can match it. But truth of the matter, each person's circumstances are, are different, and ours is a lot much different from others. And so we use our different parameters to determine and what we it could offer. So after this contract expires. The players are going to be getting different contracts with different teams. Yes, it's, it's, it's quite likely that um, we we'll have to sit back at the table, and if we can afford it, because the truth is, <laughs> it is the first time we are seeing the women's program in paying any serious attention. So it's affordability that determines what we do going forward. It take it takes cash to care after all. In terms of the sponsorship most, support. Most in terms of the sponsorship support, though, Dalton, has the JFF been getting the kind of tangible support that the goodwill or the word of mouth support suggests is attendant to things that the team is now doing? Most definitely not. We see a lot more support that we have got. You know, but we have to, as I said, Tony Ann and Mike Mitt Fasha, we are doing that. Um, you know, it, People don't understand the sort of contribution that the JFF itself have to, 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 to put forward to support these girls. Um, it is said quite often that um, without other um, entities would have not qualified. The truth of the matter the majority of what is spent on these girls is from the JFF couple. You, you say that and I, you, you invite a question then, Dalton. How much has the JFF spent on this World Cup campaign? This campaign is a $2 million dollars campaign, U.S. dollars campaign. And, and you say $2 million U.S. dollars, which will include what happens in France as well. Everything is $2 million U.S. dollars. Yes, 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 yes. And, and of that $2 million U.S., how much has the JFF pumped in directly? The JFF is pumping in over a million. So you're responsible for more than 50% of the total? More than 50%. And your sponsors and partners put up the rest? We're still in a hole. Go again? Maybe we have to do different finances. I don't know if our creditors are here, but they're staying here. <laughs> but the truth is that <laughs> we, we are not able to finance everything that we want to do. Yes. And just to hear you, just to get you clearly, this $2 million US dollar campaign, you're saying that what people have said about the program and how they love the program and how they want to support, they've not matched that indeed. They've not given as much money as they've been talking about giving money to the program. That's Absolute, correct. Absolutely. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. And we are very grateful for those who have come on board to give the support to these well-deserved ladies, to this um, group that we have. Um, we, we have to say kudos to them, and um, we do lift our hearts up to them and say, Jamaica, the Football Federation, appreciates what they have done for us. And, and one more on this, on this financial issue. This $2 million campaign, the $300,000 U.S. dollars worth of contracts is in that $2 million, so am I correct? Yes, you're right. All right. You're right. A, a related issue, Dalton. The issue of Andrew Price. We understand that Andrew... 
found himself in a spot of bother after a, a strong letter, let's just say, complaining about some things. And there was thought that a disciplinary hearing would have been held. Uh, has that been held? What's the outcome of that? We met with Mr. Price. I met with Mr. Price. And based upon the content and what was um, provided, we had to take some action. So he fell out of line, and we had to, 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 to put him back in line and make sure that we can operate in a better um, environment. What sanction has fallen on Andrew Price, Dalton? Tell us. Mr. Price has been suspended for 10 working days. Until he returns to work on the 25th. Uh, on the way, the 25th? 27th. 27th of May? Yeah. So suspended until May 27th. Suspended without pay? Most definitely. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 is it just a, is it just a suspension he will serve? Has he, does he have to make restitution, recompense for what he well, wrote? Well, I'll have to meet with Mr. I'll have to meet with Mr. Price when he gets back to work and, uh, you know, talk about what he has done and then we'll have a discussion and to see where we go from there. Oh, so, 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 so let me walk with you now. So you, you had a hearing, he was suspended for 10 days, but when he returns, he doesn't automatically start work. He'll have to meet with him to determine if and how you can move forward. Am I correct? Yes, yes, yes. If and how you can move forward. Uh, we should be able to be, be able to move forward. Though. And uh, my my information is that he was disrespectful to you in your capacity as general secretary. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. And it was over an issue concerning the women's program. No, no, absolutely not. What issue was it concerning? No, we're not discussing it, Dalton. We just, I just want my viewers to be satisfied. I, no, man, we're not. Dalton, I'm not dragging you into discussing it. I'm just wanting to establish what was the issue that caused you, caused the falling out, which caused Mr. Price to say things that has gotten him into trouble. Just the broad issue. The broad issue is what that it was, a, was a meeting that we should have had, and, and um, you know, it went awry. I don't know why, but. They did that, 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 um, that thing said that wasn't pleasing to the eyes or ears. And, and so action has to be. And, and, and just one last question on this issue. The meeting which decided on the sanction to Mr. Price, who sat in on that meeting? Who made that decision? I did. So it, the decision to suspend him was your decision, yours alone? Yeah. Hear you on that. Hear you on that. Well, Dalton, thank you for your time. We wait to see what happens with the price issue. But beyond that, we wait to see how the girls will fear. And they're camping in South Florida, of course, the friendly against Scotland, and making their way across to France for the big engagement. Yes, and we wish them well. And I can tell you. I don't think these girls will surprise us, you know, because what we have seen so far, they will do well. You know, I was telling, I was telling Lance and Mariah earlier this week, well, last week, I think, that one of the advantages that the regular girls have, Dalton, is that in the group, and there's some big teams in the group, of course, we arguably have on form, Marta is old now, we have on form the best forward in the entire group, and that must mean something for our chances. I, I, I don't even want to stop at the best forward in the group. I want to say the best forward in the right tournament now in the world. We are you are you are correct. I, I think I think I could yeah. I think I'd, I'd I'd walk with you to that to that extent. We have the best forward, yeah. Khadija Shaw, arguably the best forward in the entire world. She forward. plays for Jamaica. I, I can tell you if if, if Khadija was playing against uh, any one of these. Male team, they'll be nervous to face her at this time. Hear you on that. Thank you very much, Dalton. All the best. You're welcome, sir. Good, good, good. Dalton Wint, General Secretary of the Jamaica Football Federation. So some interesting things here. Serious issue. Let's start at the back end with the Andrew Price issue. Because we know Andrew very well, you and I, Lance. And we know him to be a straight-talking guy in business and in his football business. Yes. So I was surprised to hear that he had spoken strongly against the general secretary. The general secretary, so 
I'm, I'm wanting to know about the JFF's disciplinary procedure because if it is the general secretary is the injured party in this dispute and the general secretary as the injured party meets with Andrew singularly then the general secretary as the injured party suspends Andrew on his own then the general secretary as the injured party and suspending party has to meet with Andrew after suspension to determine if and how Andrew can continue. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying if that is the procedure, then something is wrong. Yes. So I'll have to investigate to see in black and white what the JFF's procedure for disciplinary matters at that level is because it does sound dodgy. Because he said it himself. He made the decision. Yeah. So... Mm. And he made it clear that the meeting was just between himself and Andrew Price. Yes. And he also sounds like a poet. He said, the meeting went awry. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I was about to applaud him for being, for rhyming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's, it's a curious case. I just, I'm just saying that on the face of it, lawyers would say prima facie. That just sounds yeah. funny. Questionable. Mm. It's yeah? questionable. You, you're, 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 again, you're the aggrieved party. You're meeting, you're suspending, and then you have to meet again. Yeah, but the girls, the money, sorted out, contracts. Two million US dollar program, that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot, that, that's, that is 272 million Jamaican dollars. Yeah, but what, what, of the, what of the figure that he gave though, with regard to- The girls. The girls, the, 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 the contract. 300,000. 300,000 yeah. US. Yes. Yeah, he, for January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, for eight months of work, mm. three hundred thousand. Mm. Yeah, would you be happy if you were the girls? Uh, no, well, everybody would want more, yeah. but 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 as the I constraints was, of the of yeah, the, as yeah. I always work these things out, it's a function of what you can afford to spend. Yes, so it, it's just like a child who knows your mom doesn't have it, and you demand a toy or you demand an outfit if you're a boy or a girl a yeah brand, brand name gear. Br yeah you know she can't afford it yes. but you go and demand it it doesn't make sense yes she probably end up beating you <laughs> 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 we take a break we come back with more <laughs>